after Hurricane Irma hit, you know, the project had just begun. Everything was in ruins and there was tree debris everywhere. Um, we're going on our 60 something day now of steady, constant debris cleanup. Um, it is winding down some, however, um, there's still piles. We're going through maps and just combing over everywhere that hadn't been picked up yet. Um, we probably hauled, I don't know, this truck alone, I know I'm hauling at least 200 yards a day. You just drive around and look in everybody's yard and make sure that they don't have stuff that hasn't been dealt with yet. Um, all the commercial properties are kind of left high and dry. They have to take care of all their tree and debris problems themselves. Um, they're not getting any assistance on cleaning up after the hurricane. Now, the private parts and public streets and right-of-ways are all getting taken care of by either the city or the private efforts that are funded through FEMA. Now, one of the downsides with the whole FEMA deal is it takes a while to get paid. We haven't even received our first actual paycheck from FEMA yet, and we're on our ninth week now. So, you know, it can be a little stressful, and it's not for everybody. Um, you have to have some money saved and the right equipment, of course. Gainesville's not a huge metropolitan city like New York or Los Angeles, but we're a big enough community to be able to deal with these problems. Um, a lot of the smaller communities on the outskirts of Gainesville are kind of left to deal with a lot of the problems themselves. Or at least until the major metropolitan areas are cleaned out and these larger communities can help the smaller communities just re-clean out their streets. Now basically we've we got, got two, maps. Two maps. So like here's what one of the maps looks like and I'm just trying to go and get the highlighted areas. This cleanup project has already run well over the millions of dollars. This is an expensive and time consuming project. When you have a city like Gainesville that's going through so much construction already, adding to all the debris and traffic and congestion actually creates quite a problem. Um, the roads were closed for two days after the storm hit, and uh, that was just to get the roads. That's not sidewalks, bike lanes, or, or public use areas. Now these roads are still closed due to construction, of course. I do have to say thank you to some of these areas that weren't hit. Um, they've actually came in. We got people from as far as Alabama that have come to help with the cleanup efforts. Um, see that ribbon on that tree? That's a tree that's marked as a hazardous tree it needs to go. Um, a lot of the smaller piles just get overlooked they're not that's probably a commercial pile is what that is but they're not even worried about those we're just trying to get the big stuff for now like some of these piles on these major highways require a flagging crew because you have to stop traffic in a lot of these cases keep those shovels moving boys now i can't tell you how many times i've had to climb up on this thing so far probably i don't know probably like 50 times. Then once we get a full load, we just go over here and get our ticket. All right, we got our ticket. I can't show you all that. And that's the huge pile of debris right there. Gonna keep on piling it up here for FEMA. And that's what's gonna come out of it. Big old pile of mold. I know when I'm driving down the road and I see something like this big old pile right here, I just see dollar signs twinkling in my eyes right here. 